Hi, I'm Chris, and today we're going to be do some coding. Oh yeah! All right, so today I'm here with my son, Chris. How old are you? Uh, ten and three quarters. Almost eleven. And after years of trying to get him to want to get into making websites or coding or something, he's finally agreed to try and learn. So today we're going to see if I'm able to teach an almost 11 year old how to write some CSS. And so what we have on the screen right now uh, is a very simple thing because other than learning to code, he's also learning some magic tricks. And one of the tricks is the whispering queen. He's going to teach us or he's going to write the instructions down on how to do it. And then we're going to style it up and make the website look a little bit nicer. Um, so we're going to do a little bit of HTML and then dive into the CSS What's and hopefully HTML? focus on that. Good question. Uh, so HTML is what we see on the screen right now. So Coding? this code is HTML and CSS are both different languages that we write. So it's like JavaScript. JavaScript's another one. HTML is called a markup language and you're telling the computer what everything is. So you see here I have a, the body. The body is everything that we see on the screen. Body. Then we have um, a header. So it's like a ukulele, technically. They have be. the body, they have the head, they have the neck. Oh yeah, it's a little bit like that. Yes, we're, we're telling it the different pieces, but we have to tell the computer what the different parts are. So the header is like the title. It's like your book cover almost, or the book. The, the, Never done. You know, like the chap, you get to a new chapter in a mm -hmm. book, and then there's like a page that like just says kid, the name of the chapter. Uh, man. So here we have the header. So this is sort of no. like the title of our page. And that's what the H1 is. Heading one, it, heading heading one, one is your title. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. I think so. Next, we have the main. The what main. do you think the main is? The main idea? The main. <gasps> oh, so let's that's, go! That's where all the main content goes. And then we also have a footer. What do you think the footer is? Baseball. Football. <laughs> I have no idea. So the footer is sort of like the extra little piece at the end, like the bottom, like it's information that's related, but it's not super important. So it's football. So we could put something in here and you're going to guess what I'm going to write a little bit here. So the P stands for... Potato. Page. Poop. Paragraph. Paragraph. <laughs> paragraph. What's a paragraph? It's, it, it's, it's, if you, let's say you have a book, mm -hmm. a book, uh, so you have the you have the sentences. And you cut the sentences in, in, in two paragraphs, which is you cut the two a big at least four sentences and you separate them in two. Good. So you know what a paragraph is. Woo! Okay. So one thing I just realized I forgot to explain is we, in the HTML we have the regular text. So let's learn what you need, how to perform your tricks. But then we have the tags. So the tags are what tell the browser. What's a browser? Do you know what a browser is? Title? No. A browser is not to do with the code. It's the... What's... what's the ma what, like, it's something... It's the... The, 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 the thingy like here. Like Google Chrome, yeah, the, Edge. What do you use? Netflix. Which which one of those do you use? Google... Do you use Google or do you use that one? So, uh, Microsoft Edge. You use Edge, eh? So it's just those are, in my so, opinion. yeah. So those are your those are your um, browsers. So the code here is coming. Oh, we're gonna save. So Control S is save. You do it. Control and then S. So then we got. See how what I wrote just came up here now. So I think the, we should just delete the Kevin part and it'll be nicer. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah. So do you see how here we have the P and the P, but on the page here we don't see the P. We only see the the text yeah, that's in between. Yeah, because you have the thingy here. What's the thingy there? The, the they triangle. don't know what you're pointing at. The, the triangle. triangle. This thingy. Yes. So yes. The triangle thing. So what's the triangle thing doing? It's it's like if it was a wall. If it's like if this was the, the your P was in here mm -hmm. and it was like a room. It was like a box enclosing it, mm -hmm. so you can't see it. But it's actually helping out a lot. So that's that. The things that are inside those triangles are what are telling the browser, like Microsoft Edge or Google Chrome. Yeah, the what thing that the thing you is. open. So it's telling it this is what's the P? The poop. The page. The page. What the was poop. what was the H two? Do you remember? The H two. Did I ever tell you? Yeah, H G H E M L. It is HTML, but it's part. It's sort of like the H one is our main title. This yeah, is like a secondary title. title, exactly. 
All right. So when we're doing that, we have paragraphs that we've just seen, but we can also do other things than paragraphs. So when you do, yeah, I got it. I got it. Tomato. There's beautiful. You want to know? We'll actually be able to use tomato when we do CSS. What? <laughs> I'll show you that when we get there. <laughs> You know when you do projects at school and sometimes you have like points in your text mm -hmm. and it'd be like a point and then there's a bit of things. So you do a magic trick. What are some of the things that you need? I'm going to do cards. this one. You're going to do the second one. Cards. So I'm going to do UL. Do you want to guess what UL means? Uh, L is for list. So using list. <laughs> so it's an unordered list. How would I get sad? <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm, so we have an unordered list. And then li is a list item. So here we need cards, you said. So let's save that. And cards with the bullet. What's something else we need if you're doing a card trick? Hopefully you have an audience. I was about to say that. Oh, I'm sorry. An audience. Audience or a spectator. Or sp Yeah, we, you only need one per a spectator or audience, I guess, right? A spectator or audience. Good. Um, you need hands. Hands. They're, they're useful. I bet you there's <laughs> card tricks you can do without hands, but, yeah, but they, they definitely are important. Shuffling. All right. So we have cards, hands, spectator. I think that's enough. Now is the fun part is how to perform it. So you do you cards. Know, now we have to do another list. So you're going to do this list. So do you know how to do the triangle bracket? Shift? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. This. Yeah, so we yeah, that's the right one, but we want to do so we're gonna do a different type of list. Instead of an unordered list, we're gonna do an ordered list. So if it's unordered list is U L, yeah. what do you think an ordered list is? U. Ordered list. Oh, oh. oh yeah. So open do your triangle bracket. O L. Oh, we need the L too. Oh. Just go inside. And then put the L. Yeah, there you go. Now go back in between the two of them. Push Enter. And now do it. Now we need an LI. So put an LI in there. Actually, you want to do the trick, and I'll write them down. Okay. Um... All right. So we're not finished the directions yet, but I'm gonna hit Save because I just want to show you something. So far, we have six steps. And remember, before we did the OLs, and it was doing the bullet points for unordered list. With an ordered list, see how we're getting the numbers yeah. coming up? Because it knows this is something that has to be done in order. Now, on this last step, we're saying tell the queen tells you to ask the spectator to point to one of the piles. But there's different options now, right? We could. It depends on what the person does. So I'm still inside this list item. So see, we have open and close. So inside that list item, I'm actually going to go in and make a new list. So in here, we have an unordered list, and I'm going to do a list item as well. Here we have the number six. So where's the bullet points going to be, the, the, the dots? After the six. After the six, yeah. No, yeah. So, but see how they look a little different? Because this is like the point, and then we're sort of giving like two different options based on what they did there. Why is that point like full like mm -hmm. but these ones are like two like a studio. so that's a really good question no, and the reason for that is because so everything like we haven't done anything yet we haven't written any css yet and css is what makes the page look like it does but see how there is like here this the text at the top the text here is bigger than the text here which is bigger than the text here it's because you use CSS and you wrote a specific code to make it bigger. <laughs> but I have no, we don't have any CSS yet. But what about the top? We have nothing. We have right now. The only thing we up, have up, is the up. there's this? CSS. That's not CSS. That's coding. Let's not worry about that yet. <laughs> I was right. So th no, but there's not. This is the browser by itself. Put some styles on it. We can change those. So we can change this white circle or this black circle to look different. But because these lists are inside this list, it's making them look different. That's just sort of one of the, the defaults that the browser will do without you telling it to do that. You guys big brain. Thank you. All right, let's finish this off and then we can start writing some CSS. All right, so we finished writing our HTML. We have all the different steps. Is there a problem? Not with the text, is there just with this page? 
Yes. What's the problem? I don't like the background. Awesome. Yes! Go! <laughs> I was hoping you'd say something like that, because that means we get to do my favorite thing, cool. which is to write background. some CSS. Oh. So, CSS and HTML are different. They're different. You write them, they're very different, but they Common. are very linked together. Linked. Linked. So, when you want to. HTML code it. Linked. Linked. So, Not smoochy smoochy linked. Well, maybe they smoochy a little <gasps> bit. When we want to change what something looks like, before we can change. We have to say what we want to change. What do you want to change? So well, what do you want to change? You said you want to change the background. <laughs> I want it. What do you want to change the background of? Mm, I don't know. What do you want to change the background of the whole page? Do you want the to change whole page. the whole page? Some of the page. Some, Some of the, the page? page. I want, you know what I want? You know what I really want? No. You know what I, so I think we should put it all red and then we put like mm, that color there of the Google like a dark gray. So that color. And we make it go like this. Like it's like the red is like on the sides like here. Mm -hmm. But like it has like a thick bar, like at least this thick. So it goes like this big. So but it's on the sides. Red on the sides. And then that or these, one of these two grays. Okay. So let's start simple and then we'll we'll do that. It's like Minecraft. Perfect. This gray is in Minecraft. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So first, because we want red to be behind, like red on the sides and red everywhere else, we need to make the entire background red. It'd be a lot easier yeah, to do that. That's what I just said. I know that. But Big then you want the gray on top. Yeah. So looking at here, we're starting here. We have our header. We have our main. What's this? It's your body. So the body right. starts here and the body goes all the way and it stops all the way at the bottom. So if we want to change the color of the body, we have to well, if we go want to, in the body. The body would set the background for everything because everything is inside the body. So we have to make a different body. So does that make sense? We have the body. We have to make so we have to change body. the background color of the body. Huh. So okay. I'm see how I already made a CSS file here? Because I'm trying to speed things up a little bit. So we're gonna go in that file. It's not gonna work. Why? Well, let's try. Let's try. Right body. No triangle brackets, just right body. Okay. And now CSS is different because instead of triangle brackets, we need curly braces. Curly braces! Do you know how to do a curly brace? This. Nope. This. Oh, no, that's a tilde. It is a curly Tilda. one. Though. So body, ah. space, after the body put a space, and then put shift. You were right, shift. Everything's a shift. So hold shift. This thing! Yep, but we want the other one. That's this one. Perfect. What the? Heck? And then push enter. Yeah, it's no, it was perfect. It 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 my Doubled. it does it on purpose to make it a bit faster. And then hit enter. Now write background. Yeah. So guess what? I would instead. Red. Oh yeah, let's put red. What type of red? Just put red. It for depends now. on what type of red. We'll just put red and we'll see what it looks like. And then at the so we're saying we're choosing the body. So Doesn't the red be red, let's not make orange? this a bit bigger. Think about that. So this this here is our selector. It's called that because we're selecting our body. But here's our body. Body. So we're selecting our body. body. We're selecting our body. Body. And then we're saying that we want the body's background to be red. Rouge. So we're gonna save it. Rouge. But remember, I said nothing's gonna happen. Yeah. Nothing happened. The reason why nothing happened is we have to go back here. Back there. We have our HTML here. We have oh, our CSS I think I know here. What we have to do. I, we have to connect them. Nice. You'd think we planned this, but we didn't. I never told you that. No. I'm impressed. <laughs> so to link them. Oh, yay! Link from Zelda. So, uh, in this link style sheet, and now you do it. Control S. Link is nice. And now you have a red background. That's a very ugly red. Okay, so go back to the CSS file now. Take red. That's and, a style CSS. Yes. Yeah, go to the no. Don't click there. Click here. Where? It, yeah. Click there. Delete red. Remember, I told you you could use tomato. Tomato. Right, tomato. Tomato. Hit save now. It's nicer than the other one. I don't want that to red. That's okay. 
So now if you, tomato. Now if you want, click where like the red is. Yeah, and then you can choose a different color. So the background's not bad, but it's hard to read. Perfecto. Oh, but you wanted to put a gray background on the rest of it. Okay, so we'll leave that for now. Uh, one thing that we could do is make. We can also move this so it looks better in the gray background. Yeah. Come back to the HTML file. So, the pr we're missing something now to do what you wanted to add the gray background. We have to. Get, we're gonna have to add it. So right after body, push enter. Opening. Open the triangle brackets again. Squiggly or triangle? Triangle. We're in HTML, so that's triangle bracket world. Boom. And we're going to write div, which is D-I-V. So div stands for division. It's sort of like making a box. I suck at division. And you're going to write class now. C-L-A-S-S. -S. Class. Is equal to. Is. No. Put an equal, equal. sign. Equal. And then let's give it a name. No. Give it a name. You choose the name. It's going to have the gray background on it, though. <laughs> Wait, no, no. <laughs> Why did I agree to do this video? So the problem now is we have div open and then div close. We want to give all of that the gray background though, right? So let's take the take the close take your mouse and select it. Okay, so we're gonna cut it from here. Now where do you think that, that would if we're starting our gray background here, now if where is the gray background gonna end? At the corner. No, I mean like what what we're starting it here and we're going so the header is gonna be inside of it or title. Do we want to end it the gray background only at the top, or is it going to go all ever have everything in it? I want it to be like this. No, don't. I, I'm just talking about. Don't worry about the sides. Just look up and down right now. Where's the bottom of the gray background going to be? The bottom of the gray background would be there. Okay. So where do you think we need to close that div then? Here. Is it starting here? So in on the HTML side, how on do we do HTML that? The HTML side. So is it closed after the header? No. Okay, so keep going down. Yes. What am I doing? Okay, so we you have to tell it where the gray background is going to end. So what? Oh, wait, what? So if I do it here, it would end here? So, no, so here, if you did it, say say we did af after the header, then what? it would be only the title that would be in there. Oh! Then okay, we have so the list here. Okay, so have to go very here. far down. Mm -hmm. HTML? No. So, do we want the footer in there too? Uh, what's yes, the footer again? The footer's the page by Kevin and Christopher. Uh -huh. Okay, so right after the footer then. Perfect. And then I'll we'll close the div there. So now, we don't actually see anything change on the screen. The it's because it's behind. A div by itself doesn't actually do anything yet. We have to go. It's all fine there. Go Now we go back to our CSS. Feel, feel. And we have to choose that div, so you, click, yes. push return. Now we have to choose, what did you call it? What was the name you gave it? My dad's big butt. So it's kind of weird, but because it's a class, we're going to start, remember we did class equals? So we're going to start with a period. Okay. And then you're going to do... Sense. Wait, does it have an S? You didn't put an S on the other one. Oh, i got to change it. Big butt, my dad. And then go back to the CSS again. So keep going, my dad's. Bing. Now, how do we? What do we need to do next to start actually changing stuff? What? What do we need to do now? See, so we've we've selected it. We've chosen what we want to change. We do the the bird the, 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 the thingy the squiggly line. Go for it. And now, what do you want to change the? You want, to, Butter. you want to make it gray? Yeah. So what do you think you need to do? Hit gray. Background gray. Go for it. Let's see if I just move background. Ooh, so you can cheat here. Background. No, I'm not cheating. I would Back. cheat. <laughs> do you Concrete know, gray. Do you know how to do a hashtag? Hashtag. This? No. Uh, shift? Mm -hmm. Here. Yeah. Do a hashtag and then put 333. And hit save. 
There you go. Uh, lighter. Lighter than that? Okay, you choose the color you want. <gasps> All right. Now it's kind of hard to read the black on the gray. So let's change the color of the, the text to. Green. I'm joking. Green. I'm joking. <laughs> My goodness. Okay. So push enter. Tomato. Push enter. Now to change the color of the text, what do you think we have to write? Change color of the text. It's interesting. It's just color. <laughs> it's one of those weird CSS things. So you choose one of those ones. It'd be a bit. Aquarium. No, I'm Beige. The sure. beige. Beige would be easy to read. Why don't we change the font? The font. What this? Yeah, like so. Come here on the body. Body. And let's do. Let's change the font because I don't like that font. Hey. <laughs> I what know font? it's your page. Font family. So font family is choose choose one of the the font. Choose just choose. Franklin Gothic. I sure. don't know about it. Simage. Times New Roman. New. All right, now you said you wanted the red to be like more on the sides, right? Yeah, like a uh, pretty like thick, at least like this big. Okay, so we're gonna come inside of this, the one that we made here. Let's make a new line again. So you can push enter. And what do you think you'd do to control how wide it is? Control how wide it's it's it is. It's always one word. Wide. Thick man. Right, width. <laughs> width. He's <laughs> thick man. If it's a thick man, I must write no. If it's thick man, I have to write you. <laughs> wide width, I mean W I D T H. There, it's I, at the top. No. You can just hit enter when you see it there if you want, or click on it. Now we have to choose how. I don't. No, don't use auto. It won't do anything. We have to choose how big we're gonna make it. So I'm just gonna say let's put in. You know, let's try 750 pixels. So write 750. Seven. If. And put PX. Oh, pixels! Mm -hmm. Like XP! It'll be switched. Hit save. Savorata. How's that for the whip? Oh, more hair. But we want it in the middle, right? More? Yeah. So now, this is a bit of a weird one, but it's called margin. <gasps> the margin! What's a margin? It's, um. <sighs> Brain go! It's a space between the, the 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 text and the sides. Oh, the sides of the page, exactly. So that we want to sort of set what that margin's going to be now. Actually, we're going to say margin left. I saw that! Sorry. Because that's going to be on the left, and we're going to do the margin right. And there's a magic trick we can do with our margins. Because you could come in this, and we could try and guess what it's going to be. So I could guess it's, I don't guess know. Guess who? We could guess it's My 20 poop. pixels, and hit save. And you go, oh, that's not enough. Maybe it's actually so, going to be... 100! 100? And then you save, no. and uh, it's still not enough. Or, <sighs> instead of trying to guess, <sighs> instead no. of... Except we're going to... No, you should be... You should be... <laughs> <laughs> Instead of trying to guess, write auto. Auto. And it's an auto. So hit save now. Did I do it? Try again, save. Oh my goodness, it went all the way that way. You suck. What it's doing is it's saying we're going to take all the empty space and put it there. But we don't want it all on that side, we want it both. Auto correct. So if margin left is auto, and it pushes margin it that way. In the middle, margin middle. Margin, put mar that a lot of people wish there was a margin middle oh. or a margin center. But instead of that, we can say margin left auto and margin right auto. And if you do both of them as auto, then it goes right in the middle. It's perfectly in the middle. Even if it gets bigger or smaller, it always stays in the middle. Whereas if we said that it's a certain size, then it wouldn't work. So margin left, margin right auto mean it Wait, stay in the middle. Wait, I have an idea. Mm -hmm. Look here. Idea. Boom. There we go. Wow. Audience wow. goes. Wow. Wow. There we go. What? Okay. So we're going to fix one more thing. We're going to do two more things, wow. actually. First, we're going to still on this one here. We've set, a, we've set the margins. 
One thing that's kind of <laughs> margins are on the outside of something. Margin. Where's the margins? In the on the outside. Side. So when we have the box here that we made and we did the margins, the margins are on the outside of it. Sometimes it's nice to have extra space on the inside too. So to add space on the inside, we have something called padding. So why don't you, why don't you try giving a number? You can't use auto here. Give it a what number do you want to try? We'll do pixels My again. My favorite number. That's when I can leave this house. So see how by putting the 18 pixels of padding there, it's given it, it let's just take that off. So say we delete it and everything's stuck to the side of the box. Don't delete it. And then when we put it back. Why would you do that? When we put it back and I save, now there's the space around. So it makes it a little bit easier wow. to read. Does that make sense? Mm, yeah. So which one's on the outside? The margin. And which one's on the inside? The, the padding. Good. Thank you. Now, so far we've done, we've chosen our body and we've chosen this one. Let's say you wanted to change just the color of the text on these titles. Do you think you could figure out how to do that? Hmm, one well, sec. Yep. Yeah. Go up. Oh no, I don't. Okay, so when I wrote body, it's choosing that. When yes. we When we wrote the, my, when you wrote my dad's big butt, it was choosing this. My dad's big butt. So now, if I want to select what you need, what is what you need inside of? Look here, what's what you need inside of? The H2. Awesome. So we need to select? The H2. So go to the CSS now. CSS. That's perfect. So on, go down to line 16. 16. Just click more. Yeah. And what do we need to write? H. D. Good. And next? H. D. Space. Triangle bracket. We're in CSS world. It's perfect. Okay. And what do you want to change? The, uh, what do you need? Nope. We've already... Look at what we've already done. What are we changing? What do we want to change about it, the I should say? The color. The color. So how... Color. And did it change? Oh, it's nice. Did it change? And do you notice not only this one changed... That one too, because that's in the H2. That's awesome. Yeah, that's another H2. Okay. Is there anything else we want to change before we wrap uh, it up? I think I want to change the title. There okay. Figure out how to do it. Let's see if you can do it without my help. So where's the title? Oh, I said I'm not going to say anything. Sorry. Dog type? Uh, we always start at the bottom. Body. Don't worry about this stuff at the top. Body, uh, how do Let's learn how to do... Here! Yeah! H1. Let me go. Teen space. No. Enter. We go. Shift. Yeah, shift. Thingy. Okay, squiggly line. What's that called? Squiggly, squiggly brace, line. squiggly bracket. Bracket. We can call it bracket. Color. No, it's not showing us different colors we can use because it's a little confused right now. Cool. Uh, color. Why do you think it doesn't know what it wants to do? Because it doesn't know what color. Because. Mm. What are we changing the color of? HD1. Where did it? Hey, you put it. I'm an idiot. Almost. Here? Try that. And now, if you take the colon off and then put it back, it will. You, show. you said you're not telling me anything. I just wanted to tell you how to get the list of stuff again. Go down. Let's get blue. No. And. Awesome. Let's go!
I like that. That's nice. That's nice. Okay, I'm going to ask you to do one more thing. I'm going to change the background of our footer. What's the footer? Oh, uh, this? Scroll all the way at the bottom. A page by Christopher and Kevin. That's the footer. So go to the HTML. Pew! Scroll down so we can find the footer. I think I found the footer. Okay. So how would we change the background of the footer? No, go in the footer. Well, so we have to go. What file do we need to be in? In the uh, in the footer, the p the page. We can we can choose the footer itself too. Anything oh. that's inside the triangle brackets, you can select in CSS. This is HTML, not CSS. Yeah, but here we're looking at it. So now, if we want to change the color, where do we have to go? We have to go to our CSS, right? Because that's what. So it's now it's called footer. F O F O O T E R. Good. I have a good memory. Five so. seconds. Spelling. <laughs> We go into. We go into. I'm weird. You're missing something. Okay, so let's save that. I like the consistency of your color scheme, I must say. Oh, it's so, ugly. Now we have to go in the... Wait, before you go to the HTML, I have a challenge for you. Stay where you were. So one of the reasons I think it looks ugly what? is because... Because it's out, not in... Because it's small, not big. So it needs a bit of space around yes. it, right? Yes. So you remember we looked at two things that can add space. I don't want this challenge. There's two things that can add space. There was one that adds space on the outside and one that adds space on the inside. So see if you can figure out what adds space to the inside. He said he don't want you to do it. It's just going to be too hard. Okay, I'm, I'm all for it. Got it? Mm -hmm. it, made, it made this, this mm -hmm. become the color. It became the width, the widest, the width we wanted. It added a little a bit of space in the middle, right? <laughs> so why don't we try doing that on our footer? Got it? Yeah. Let's do 56. Wait, I'm gonna. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure you put PX. So. And then no space after the 56. 56 PX has to be all together. So let's hit save and see what that does. Might be a little surprised. Go look in the page. Thick boy. <laughs> So remember, the padding is adding space on the inside. So we're adding 56 here, 56 Five. here, 56 there. <laughs> it adds a bit more top and bottom. We won't worry about why, but we can try it. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> How long does this go for? A long time. I can see that. I'm... Up, up. Oh, I have the biggest brain. I do like the experimentation, though. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I like that. So, what are your impressions about writing CSS? Pretty fun. Pretty fun, for real? Yeah. Yeah? It's hard, but it's... I like new things. You learn anything? No. No. I'm gonna forget it. Do you think tomorrow. you'll try again? Maybe in another video. Another Maybe video. Start another channel for me. How to do CSS by Junior Mini? No, not Junior. Mini Kevin Powell. And so there we have it. I hope you enjoyed that video and me trying to help my son learn a little bit of HTML and CSS. If you did enjoy it, please let me know down in the comments. Maybe we'll do a follow up. I'm not too sure yet uh, if I have the patience for it, but maybe we'll do it. And with that, I'd like to say a very big thank you to my enablers of awesome Jan, Johnny, Kyle, Mr. Dave, Patrick, Simon, Stephen, and Tim, as well as all my other patrons for their monthly support. And of course, until next time, don't forget to make your corner on the internet just a little bit more awesome.